So as you can see on here, it's not just databases. You can set up a Docker Swarm, Kubernetes cluster, just kind of plain vanilla um, container environments, Docker Engine as well. Uh, but other things like, you know, open VPN service, uh, WordPress, you know, Drupal, Joomla. So you have all the main kind of websites. You also have OwnCloud, which is a great kind of enterprise services platform. And it goes on. I mean, there are kind of many, many sections here. So you get the idea here that you can come in. If, you, the if there's a ready solution already set up for you, you can just click and go, and that's going to deploy into your account. Uh, and I'll show you a little bit more once you've deployed an environment what you can do, because you also have a lot of control over that. The other way you can go is to actually build your own environment. So if you want to create your own sort of DevOps uh, stack, you can do so, again, using using this tool. Um, so really, the first thing you do is you define, you know, what is the application technology environment that you want? So you can see on here you have a, a lot of different options, so Java, PHP, Ruby, .NET, Node.js, Python, Golang, and then you have a kind of container option here at the end, which is sort of agnostic to the application. So I'm going to choose Python, very popular. Um, the system works the same way for all the technologies. And so you can see here, I've got my Python environment defined here. And I can go in and I could change the, the option for which Python, Python version I wanted, et cetera. Um, now, you can see here you have other elements. And so you can start building your stack here. And um, what this also allows you to do is create automatic scaling. It's one of the benefits of using PASS uh, is the ability to scale up as, as you need to. And, and the way it works is we have a very unique scaling uh, ability. We build everything in these cloudlets, and each cloudlet is very small. It's only 128 megabytes of RAM, 400 megahertz of CPU. And what you can do is you can, this is vertical scaling, you can kind of create the limit to your scaling. But the beauty is the billing system only bills you based on what you're actually using. So if you put reserved of one, it's only going to scale up based on the load. So there's no penalty for putting a, lot, a higher scaling limit. It's quite the opposite. So it gives you that ability to scale up and scale down in a very granular way. 